Welcome back to another edition of Fly Tying for Beginners. Today we're going to tie a creek chub, craft fur creek chub. The hook I have in the vise is a 5263. It is a size 6. This is a 3 extra long, 2 extra heavy streamer hook from Green Caddis Outfitters. Green Caddis. This I'm going to use. I have 140 denier. This is brown. We're going to start that behind the eye and we're going to take that back. To where it would hang at the barb. I was recently out fishing. Here it is the third week of October. Stream's pretty low and I saw there was a lot of small chubs. All of that, all of the fry you see in the summertime, they're two to three inches long now. And I caught a couple of them on the dry flies so I'm going to try to match that now I'm going to remove that excess I'm going to start out I have a this is a craft fur and this is kind of like a coyote looking you can see it's got a lot of black on there you can get this at craft stores I'm just going to take a small small amount of this and we're going to cut that off and you see what I have here it's pretty thick you want to cut it close to to the bottom and we're going to take a lot of this out we're going to take my comb and I'm going to comb that out we don't want it to make a big lump you can see how thin it's getting Got a lot here, that's all short stuff. And now basically what I'm left with is all of the long tabs, or all the long strands. I'm going to go ahead and take some of these long ones out also. Those black tips for right now, I don't want all of that black in there just yet. I'm just going to put this in for a tail and I only want that to be about maybe half the length of the hook shank and we're going to leave all of that up front you can weight this if you want like I said the water is extremely low so I'm going to leave this unweighted so I don't want to be getting caught on the on the bottom and I'm going to wrap this all the way up take some large wraps some wide spaces there just to secure that and that also keeps it level and bring that thread back now with craft fur you get a lot of fuzz all the time all of this you can see if I just take a lighter just get it lightly because you'll cut you'll burn the thread easily Now these creek chubs that I saw, they were a, they had like a cream colored belly. So I'm going to use, this is a white chenille. I take that white chenille, this is a medium chenille. And I took the ends off so I just have the thread. Just pull it out like that. I'm going to tie that in. And we're going to bring that forward. We're going to come up only about two-thirds of the way. We're going to wrap that. And bring that right up to the thread through that two-thirds length. And we're going to tie that off. Put a couple of wraps right in front of it. And we're going to go ahead and trim that off. Now, the reason I put this tail in there is here's one I made. And you can see in the middle, there's like an empty space. So I'm hoping that that tail, 
you can see where the hook ends that tail will help fill in that little bit of an empty space there I'm going to turn my fly o over I'm going to take some more of the uh, craft fur same color and once again I'm going to pull all of the loose stuff out so you just take a good grip on it here and then get that comb sometimes you have to clean it out and then go at it again there we got it all out you can see all that dark stuff and that's actually good dubbing right there I'm going to take this, I'm going to measure this up, and I want this to be slightly longer than our tail. I'm going to tie this right there on the bottom. Take that and kind of divide it evenly around the hook shank. And that will kind of help hide that uh, white, turn it cream. I'm going to go ahead and trim off some of the excess. Just going to give my thread a counterclockwise spin to flatten it out. And that will help me to cover the excess a little quicker. And bring that back up. Now since the backs of these are darker, I'm going to go ahead and take some brown craft fur. And that would make good dubbing also. Put this on top. Make that just about the same length As the belly maybe just a little bit longer even and we're gonna go ahead and tie that in you can take it and kind of flatten it out around the chenille And I'm going to tie that in. Now I'm going to make myself a dubbing loop. And we want that maybe about three inches long for this size. I'm going to take my coyote color and I'm going to get some in my hair clip. And the best way to do this, I take it and I'll take my bodkin needle and put it in there and then bring it to the back just like that. And you can get yourself a decent amount. Keep it in control right there. Take our clip and put that on there. And then we can cut it off. Now I have it in the clip. I'm going to squeeze the clip hard because there's not enough spring tension and I'm going to take the light hair out once again. I'm going to take the clip, put it inside, slide it off the clip and catch oh, that one that slid a little bit too far. Catch it just a small amount. And then I'm going to put another clip swart in there. Tighten up that thread on there. 
I'm going to move my bob my bobbin thread out of the way and I'm going to give this a spin. Okay, and you can see I got this big hairy thing here. It's wound on there pretty good. Take our comb and comb that so you get all the nice long hairs out. Then we're going to wrap this and stroke it towards the rear as you go. And we'll bring that right up to the eye. And we're going to tie that off there. I'm going to go ahead and trim that dubbing loop off. I'm going to stroke everything towards the rear. I'm going to tie off the head. give that a whip finish there's a lot of static in it then we're going to comb that out comb that back And now you can put eyes on there if you'd like. I'm going to take my brown Sharpie marker and I'm going to make the top of it a little bit darker. I'm just lightly brushing the marker across the top. We don't want it to soak in too far. Now I have five millimeter holographic eyes and that's what I'm going to use. I'm going to take my Deer Creek Diamond Fine UV Resin and I'm going to top the eyes off. And I'm going to let some of it go off the eye because we want something to hold it in place. I'm going to bring that right up to the nose. Take my UV light. Hit it quick all the way around to freeze it. I'm going to take my holographic paper and I'm going to hold it around it. And the holographic paper will bounce the UV light around And here we have a craft for a creek chub.
hope that you learned something from this video. hope you would subscribe to my channel. Please refer me to your friends. Leave comments, questions, suggestions, and most of all, thank you very much for watching my videos.